the Black Panther buzz finally arrives the shores of Nigeria with an exclusive screening of the world's biggest black superhero film. Let's go see how that went down. The buzz around Marvel Comics' first black superhero movie, Black Panther, blows to Nigeria as the movie officially screens for the first time in Lagos. The pre-screening reception creates an impression of Wakanda, the fictitious African country where the plot is cited. Greens hanging from the ceiling recreate the lush vegetation, while the red carpet is lined with the African fabric kente from Ghana, as done by the lead character in the movie. My entire life for this. The highly anticipated movie, which tells the tales of an African country from the perspective of affluence, light age development, and technology, is welcomed with unconditional approval. That's damn calm. Watch me do my thing. I hope you're ready, bro. I'm just getting started. For a long time now, um, Africa has been portrayed as uh, Asian, but for Black Panther, Black Panther is redefining and trying to take away the thoughts, the popular thoughts that we are backwards. So it's, it's, it's really historic for us to witness this because in Hollywood and even people that have been to Nigeria for maybe let's say back in the day, 60s, 70s, if they come to Nigeria now or they come to Africa now, a lot has changed. And that's what Black Panther is trying to, 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 to bring to bed. So yeah, we are really proud to have Black Panther movie releasing this time of year, which is the Black History Month. I want your weapons. I want to play your secrets. It's all mine now. Is this your king? I always fought for this voice and to see it come to um, light is just a huge success to all those who have given their lives. I mean, it might look like I'm taking it far, but I'm not. This, this is exactly what Martin Luther King fought for. This is exactly what, what Mandela fought for. This is exactly what a lot of people have given their lives for. And to see that uh, uh, it is coming to fruition like this. I mean, the media is a powerful tool. And then we have such huge representation in front of the media. I mean, it's a fantastic feat. Nigerian actress Shokwe Aluko and stuntman Femi Olagoke receive credit on the movie. While Aluko plays Shaman, a powerful primal leader who calls upon nature's spirits for aid or guidance, Olagoke appears as an extra on screen while also receiving off screen credits in stunts. Ayola, who is already working his way up the ladder within the Nigerian filming industry, suggests that this may be a career-changing opportunity for them. Um, I envy. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a healthy envy. I envy everyone who's been part, who's part of this project, for the rest of their lives. This goes on, on their resume. I was part of the the team that brought African superheroes to forefront. I mean, that's huge history. I mean, I wish I was part of it. But I'm sure there are other histories that we can break and, and be part of, yes. Are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Although Nollywood prides itself as a major movie force in global community, Ayola feels the influx of Hollywood films into Nigeria, such as The Black Panther, shows there's still a gap not catered for by the Nigerian filmmakers. Distracting me, I'm sorry. Movie making is a universal language. All over the world, movie making is movie making. Now, what differentiates regional movie makings from each other is the content, like you've right, rightly said, the cultures, what you put into it, the genres that you decided to do, to, to shoot, the um, approach and all that. So I think it is just wise for us here in Nollywood to take a leaf off Hollywood. I mean, this is, this is a huge, it's already a success. 
for a movie that's not out, that's competing with movies that are out, that are out the numbers, I mean, it's clear. The numbers show it. So it's just a, it's just wise for us to take a leap or two from such movies. And the conquerors. Step into the spotlight. You are a good man. Step into the spotlight. With a good heart. And it's hard for a good man to be a king. 